everybody. Hey, uh, today I'm doing a fairly straightforward problem. It's uh, what they call Vieta's theorem that relates um, the zeros of a polynomial with its coefficients in, in a strange looking way. They're very related to the uh, symmetric polynomials, elementary symmetric polynomials. These, these, these are very popular uh, type of problems in the Singapore Mathematic Olympiad and also the IMO, the International Math Olympiad. Now, again, this one more or less just checks to see if you know what the formulas mean, that the, the Olympiad problems are probably a level more difficult. <clears throat> now, here, and this doesn't happen very often, I think, in the math Olympiads, but I actually give you the zeros, give you all four of the zeros, one plus root three, one minus root three, uh, five, and negative three. All right, so we have two irrational solutions, two irrational zeros, and then uh, uh, two uh, integer zeros. Now, just a little bit of background on what Vietas are, and, and they are literally the coefficients of the polynomial. Uh, let me mark this out for you. Like right here, this would be uh, literally minus sigma one uh, x cubed. And then this one right here would just be sigma. You're, you see the signs alternate based on one minus one raised to the power of the subscript, basically. And that you can see why that's true in the proof, but it's not, we won't go over that now. But so this would be uh, sigma two x squared right here, which is the one we're actually interested in today. And this one would actually be minus sigma three. Uh, sigma sub three x, and you'll see that the the minus sign would be like minus one raised to the third power. Right here, you would have a minus one raised to the second power, which is just positive, and this would be minus one raised to the uh, first power. And uh, just a a quick, you can add all these up right here, and you can see quickly that this these zeros add up to four, right? Well, notice they just differ by the sign of this negative four. Or sum up this, 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 and this, and you'll get uh, four. And that's just th this with a minus sign. Okay. So it's really, it's kind of interesting, really. The, the, the symmetric polynomials are the zeros uh, of, of the underlying function. Now, so Vieta's formula, it, it, this looks a little intimidating. But it's really pretty easy. You just sum it up through all possible pairs for uh, sigma sub two. And that's the one we're interested in right here. We're trying to find C, right? And so notice these are all zeros. We, we, we could call this one our uh, X sub one right here, if you want. And this one would be our X sub two. Now the order, you, this is just arbitrary, the order that the zeros appear and that's not gonna affect anything. That's why they call it symmetric a lot of times, I think. But so X sub three, and then uh, x of four, right? So y'all, that would read x of four is negative three, x of three is five, x of two is one minus root three, and x of one is one plus root three, right? And now, it, it just to, I'm, I'm deviating a little bit, but notice the product of all of these would, would actually be 30. One plus three times one minus root three is actually negative two. And if you keep multiplying that out, you'll get 30. So it's, it's fairly cool. I, you know, it, it's neat how it works out. Now, but for the question at hand, where the red C is what we're interested in. Um, and so I, I just wrote this out, uh, all possible combinations where the lower index is, is uh, the first index is less than the uh, second index. And that happens here. One is less than two, one is less than three, one is less than four, two is less than three, two is less than four, and three is less than four. And folks, you can think of this also, how many of these are there? Y'all seen the combination notation? There's four, choose two of these. So there's a common, there's a very combinatoric uh, influence on all this stuff. Four, choose two. Y'all remember that means four times three divided by two, which would be six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's like that for all of these. Uh, so it's really kind of neat. So the rest of it's just purely, purely computational. And I'm not gonna step you through all of this. You wouldn't enjoy it, I don't think one bit. But one plus root three times one minus root three is negative two. And then all these other irrational pieces just cancel out. And so the, the answer to this problem is actually C is equal to uh, negative 13. Okay.
All right, y'all. I, I hope you enjoyed that. It's it's it's. I think it's kind of interesting. And there's similar pro, like for sigma sub three would be you would have x sub one, x sub two, x sub three, x sub one, x sub two, x sub four, so on. You know, you would you would have a triple. You would have like i is less than j is less than k. So this 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 notation right here is actually very clear. When I first saw it, I go, what the hell? You know, what I mean, it, it, but but it's really it's really not that bad. And this is this is the arbit. This is the sigma sub n would be defined this way also. Okay, folks, hope you enjoyed.